Hello. Goodbye. See, I get a lot of calls like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a little bit better, but he's, I mean, I'm a twin, so he's only 60 seconds older. Oh, you're the baby? Yeah, my cup. You got you. <laughs> Biggest one in the bunch. Yeah. When I come here, it reminds me of when my grandparents were alive, how they used to treat me as a grand as a grandson. It's just not always about drinking coffee. It's about sharing something that somebody else enjoys while talking about things that create a stronger bond and a stronger relationship between two people who can relate to the same subject matter. Tell his sergeant, well, he said, can you, can you walk? I said, if you'll help me up, I can run. <laughs> this nation was built off of patriotism. As a former combat veteran to any other former combat veteran, I pay my respects. There's not a lot of World War II veterans around. So to be able to hear stories like this, it's very, it's very moving. It's, it makes me even more appreciative of people like himself. I believe that if I can make an impact and show my gratitude and appreciation for you know, someone who has similar experiences like myself, then I feel compelled to, to let them know that. That's, that's what it's all about. It's not about the coffee, it's about that connection, which me and Mr. Johnson have. As long as I'm alive, having Mr. Johnson and his family a part of my life experience and in my heart, it'll always be here. So, yeah. Well, I tell you what, I got a son and I love him, but I'd be proud to claim you. I think you already have. I think you already have. <laughs> All we do is get the papers filled out, you know. <laughs> I know how to do that. And claiming me on your taxes now, huh? Claim me on your taxes. I hear you. <laughs> I need somebody to. <laughs> I hear you.